if your code works up to this point, um, then that means that your event listener is listening and it's handling the event. So here's our event handler. Um, we are clicking and we get the first feedback and we are seeing where the comic in question we're going to delete is that one right there, which we extracted from um, view comic. So further to delete here, pretty straightforward. We mean to delete the comic we're looking at. The comic that we've clicked info is the comic we want to delete. Uh, so db dot delete or actually db dot get will say first check uh, that the comic in question exists. So we need to get from the database the particular comic. Um, before going directly to remove, we should confirm that the data exists, that the data is valid, uh, and then we'll delete it. So we need to get. What we're getting is temp comic to delete. So temp comic to delete. We uh, should have gotten that value from before. As usual, uh, we have a function, an anonymous function, with a failure or success, which we break apart into multiple lines, which has if else. which we first check for failure. So we've done that several times, did it a little, little bit fast, but I'll pause here. Obviously, we've um, done this before. We've seen this syntax before. Uh, console will say error comic does not exist. And we'll see what the what the failure message is. I'll let you write that. Uh, so um, the documentation for PouchDB, if you get into it, you you see sort of like their best case, best um, best practice. Um, and what they say is. In, uh, when you when you're gonna do an operation it's often best to sort of like confirm that your data exists that your data is what you think you're doing working with so we have DB dot remove that will delete the um, the comic in question uh, but we should first check is that data in the database so DB dot get will allow us to check first then based on that failure or success, we're able to remove it. Since db remove is very similar to db dot destroy, wouldn't it be a good idea to confirm with the person you're about to delete this comic? We confirmed with the user, are you sure you want to delete your whole collection? <clears throat> so we're going to do the same thing with, are you sure you want to delete this comic? So we'll have a switch, as we saw before, to ask to the confirmation, are you sure you want to delete this comic? Um, so uh, inside of else, Switch, open close parentheses, curly braces. This is the end of our switch. 
and switch to confirm deletion. We'll have a case for true, a case for false, a default case. We've seen this switch before. We're, we're using it the same. Uh, it's going to be very similar to when we were going to delete the whole database. We can go ahead and write to that. So if our case is true, but we'll do uh, we'll do the true case last because that one's the f final aspect of it. Well, let's do default. Um, default in our case, there's some sort of issue we need to deal with. Third choice. false. They decided not to delete the comic. Cancelled deletion. Well, in the switch, uh, we will make a confirm, a confirmation pop-up. So we have the confirm method um, pop up asking you want to do something. OK, cancel, gives back true or false. So we have the case for true, we have the case for false. There shouldn't be a third case. But it's good practice to have a uh, default case. And here's where we um, give the message to the user about to delete this comic. Backslash n, are you sure? So in this pop up, you will get the that message and then new line, backslash n. They will click cancel, which will trigger false. They will click OK, which will trigger true. And we've got db.remove. So remove will take the um, first parameter and then do a function as usual, failure success. So dot put, dot remove, dot destroy, everything. Usually then some sort of option or some sort of parameter and then callback function as usual. We'll deal with that in a moment. Here. Um, from the documentation that I read, the whole point of first doing a get is to confirm that we're deleting what, what we expect to be deleting. Um, so the system is that we get the data that we're about to delete. It comes back in the success object. So we're about to remove. And it looks really weird. We're about to remove success. 
because when we're this far into the the code, Pouch gives back to us the object success, which includes the whole comic, all of the data of the comic, the ID, the um, the name of the comic, the year of the comic, the publisher, the notes, all of that. All of that is stored in success. So we're saying remove all of that from the database. That will either have a failure result or a success result. So we'll break the curly brace and then we'll deal with failure or success. <clears throat> so I'm going to break that apart. If failure, or else success, let's say failed to delete the comic. And what's the failure? Ultimately, there's a success, so console log. Um, deleted a comic. So it'll say true, deleted the comic true. If we get ultimately down to this else, we tried to remove a particular comic. We're confirming which comic it is from the db.get, so it should have deleted the comic true. For some reason, something happened in between getting that comic and deleting that comic, which, you know, it processes the code instantaneously pretty much, so there probably should not get to this failure. But if there was a failure, then we'll see the output. So db.remove removes it. That could have been the only code we had in this function. Remove the comic, and it would do it. But we're building in first. Let's confirm the comic we're going to delete, db.get. Was there an error here or not? OK. Then let's confirm to the person. You're, you're, you press delete. Are you sure you want to delete? Once that's confirmed, OK, then the finally uh, try to remove it, uh, or else there's no error, so remove it. Now that removes it from the database. But visually, in the app itself, uh, nothing has quite changed in the, in the app itself. The table is still going to show that comic. We need to redraw the table to show that there is no that now there is no more that that one comic that we re removed is no longer there. And remember our function um, show comic show comics prep is our is our function that redraws the table, prepares the table, then draws the table after deletion redraw the table. Redraw it. Now there's, now there's one less comic to display in the table. In previous classes, people forget this, and then they click to delete. Nothing seems to happen. They try to click again. Nothing seems to happen. They check inside of the console in the application viewer, and they see that the comic is not there. And they say, well, I'm deleting it, but it's still showing up on screen. Well, that's because the table is still showing the old data. So we refresh the table. And this pop-up that we're looking at, we're looking at the pop-up that says, Wonder Woman number one, delete. Well, that pop-up is still in our way. We should close the pop-up. We've deleted the data. That comic is no longer in the database. Let's also close close the current pop-up. The pop-up on screen for us right now should be pop view comics info.
right, that's what we called it. Um, yeah, Pop View Comics Info is the name of that section. Uh, and we're saying here, okay, um, this is the section in question. Let's do uh, di dialogue. It's a dialogue box. Let's close it. Question. Um, it all happens so fast that it doesn't quite matter because we're we're gonna redraw the table right away. Then we're gonna close the pop-up. So we can check both ways, but um, either or should give the same result. Yes. Up here? Um, no, it should be success. Let me double check my notes here. <clears throat> Let me double check my notes. Uh, DB remove success. It should be success because uh, this ultimately comes from uh, db.get. If we're trying to get the comic to delete, that's the ID. If we're trying to get a particular comic to delete. There's either a failure or success. Uh, success then gets passed into dealing with if else. It has it from above it, yes. Okay. What we're deleting has come from db.get. Mm -hmm. So we redraw the table, we close the dialog, and then the comic is deleted. Let's go ahead and test this. Let's try this out. Uh, select a comic, try to press the delete. Check your console to see the feedback you're getting from the process. You should get the pop-up that says, are you sure? You can again test cancel and then success and then OK. Uh, you click that final OK and then it should then ultimately say, deleted the comic, true. Redraws the table first, then closes the dialog. You don't see the table because the dialogue is in is in view when when a dialogue appears it fades out what's what's already on screen so the table is invisible for a moment redraw the table then close the dialogue show the table and it should then have the comic removed from it let's let's check So I'm going to view, I'm going to remove comic ZZ, pops up, clicking delete, get the pop-up, are you sure? I can't see behind it, but I've got some output back there, I'm going to cancel. Okay, so that was saying, function delete, comic is running, comic about to delete is this, I canceled. I'm going to try it again, so I'm going to go for it, are you sure? I click OK. Pops up, deleting the comic. True, function show prep is running. This is my uh, uh, this is my data at the moment with one less item. The table redrew itself. No more ZZ comic. Uh, same thing here. Yep, delete it. Confirm. I'm going to delete all of these that are just uh, gibberish. Keeps only the real ones. Then um, I want to eventually uh, fix my spellings. But uh, delete now is working. You can delete individual comics. We set up previously delete all the comics. Now it's individual comics. And so that was all in here in our, in our function to delete. We'll end the lecture at this point if it if it worked. If not, uh, we'll do a little lab time.
But now uh, we're getting closer. We the last part of the operation, we did save comics, retrieve comics, delete individual comics, edit comics. That's what's next for next next for next time. Uh, so if it worked, great.